Hello, everyone. Welcome to Rhythm and Roads podcast. I'm going to be your host, Joshua Jacob. My co-host, Serene, won't be joining us tonight, but she'll be on the next episode. We have a special guest, Angel Rodriguez, also my best friend. Welcome, sir. He's a photographer, filmmaker, and gamer. And I've known him since 2019, I believe. So welcome, my friend. Awesome. Thanks for having me, bro. Appreciate it. So... I remember the first time we met was because of Jennifer. We were doing a photo shoot in February of 2019, her and I, and when I'm taking photos of her, um, we were talking about, I was talking to her about film that I'm also interested in that. And she was like, Oh, you should meet my friend angel. And I was like, Oh really? He's, she's like, yeah, he's, he's into filmmaking and does all that too. I was like, Oh, that's cool. And then all of a sudden uh, there, you know, we met for the first time. And then after that, it's all she wrote. Yeah, we ended up doing the uh, the shoot at White Sands, and it was a dusty day. <laughs> it was. It was a really <laughs> dusty day, yeah, man. And yeah. we made it work somehow, but we it came out pretty <laughs> Yeah, that was during that time we were doing that Blue by Josh Jacob apparel. Yes. Yeah, hey, that, that shirt, that, I got to say, the, the, the material shirt that you got was really soft. It was a good shirt. It was a good brand, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the so, material, everything. Yeah, yeah that was it was awesome. cool. It's a little cool little side thing we were we were doing. Yeah, for sure. So to you, sir, um, what inspired you to get into photography, film, um, a game, being a gamer? But mm-hmm. uh, but what inspired you to be all those three? So let's start with my origin story and how I started my photography. Yeah. So believe it or not, um, like I've told you, I think I've told you a story before, but everybody else that hasn't heard my story uh it all started back in high school um i graduated 2010 class of 2010 um right a little bit after high school i guess um i ended up going to uh, college for mechanic you know to to learn that uh while i was doing that i was still with my high school sweetheart um and she was a junior when I was a senior. So I graduated before or after, well, before her, right? And um, what's it called? I was going to college. So we were still dating around that point. Uh, we were dating for like three years or so, something like that. And at some point, I guess something bad happened in the relationship. I mean, obviously, that's a different story. Um, and we ended up breaking up. Uh, she ended up breaking up with me, stuff like that. And... Me, as because I also have a little background of learn, uh, playing guitar, so I knew how to play guitar. Um, I was heartbroken, and um, well, I had a guitar, I knew how to play it. I was gonna try to maybe you know release my emotion, you know, my heartbreak, all the sadness that I had, depression, uh, from the breakup. So I was trying to see if I can write a song kind of like any songwriter writes a song because of the way they feel that's how they vent mm-hmm. so I tried it but then I realized I'm not a I'm not a songwriter and I can't sing so I was like how can I I can't do this and I, at the same time you know being young I was trying to make a song not just for me but just see if I can win her back because obviously I love this girl right so My uh, parents had this small portable Kodiak camera, right? It did photos and video. Not the best videos, you know, at the time, but, you know, it's all I had. So for some reason, I picked it up and I was like, you know what? What if I make a video for her? I I don't know what sparked this idea, but I was like, what if I made a video for her and get a song that, you know, inspires me, which is a song from Angels and Airwaves um, Mm -hmm. that we'll be probably talking about later. Um, But it was a song. What song was it? Um, You know, no, I lied. Sorry about that. It was actually a Blink-182 song. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a Blink-182 song. Yeah, exactly. Repping the Blink and the Angels and Airwaves. I do appreciate. Um, (laughs) What's it called? Uh, It was a Blink-182 song and it was Always. Um, always? If any- okay. mm-hmm. always if anybody is a blink fan here you know you know what song i'm talking about but 
it was a song always and i think it was a perfect song to see if, you know maybe i can win her back and she knew who the band was and she knew the song so maybe it helps right so i decided to you know grab the camera i'm like maybe i can make a video so maybe i can you know win her back you mm-hmm. know or make her realize hey i miss you or, you know I, I i i miss you and i love you so what i ended up doing is um to let me make a video of me and lip singing the song to show her what i'm feeling because i couldn't write a song so how else to show it you know, through a video and lip singing right so i ended up doing that but i added a little bit of like at the same time and i was doing it i was learning stuff i taught myself uh by what i like to call youtube university um at the time you know looking at youtube videos learning a little bit of photography learning how things work learning how to edit learning how to use a software i think i was using final cut because i had a mac computer back then oh really wow yes i was using final cut for the very first time and i was trying to learn final cut so i was i got on youtube looking at tutorials at the time you know learning how to do edits how to transfer photo the video from the card that it had the sd you know the kodiak camera had an sd card not the best quality video but yeah. yeah and um so i ended up doing that started uh you know learning all these tricks and and editing and effects stuff like that um and yeah after that you know um i ended up finishing this little project that had the three long minute song with me lip singing to her and trying to see if I can win her back. Fortunately. Yeah. Fortunately it didn't work. No, but, but there's a, you tried, right? Yeah. There was a silver lining to everything. Yeah. You know, she said no. And I sat there feeling still down and I'm like, Hey, when I was editing and doing all that stuff and kind of, I was, somewhat releasing my emotion through my video Mm. it was making me feel happier it was making me feel better like i was venting and i was like what if i do another one but not for her more for me Mm. you know yeah so i started learning more i started looking into stuff started doing these little videos um i i have this video on my instagram that's a way back then where you can see that it was like one of my first startups i guess that i posted and uh it was emotional and it was you know me trying to show my emotion to the world hey you're not the only one out there that feels like this i'm feeling like that too Mm. so for me after that i basically took off you know uh learning new things eventually ended up buying a a, a canon t3i which is the one that i think i sold to you yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah That was my start. That was my my second startup when I actually got into it seriously. So it was pretty cool because actually my aunt got it for me for my birthday, which is awesome because she she's like I believe that you have talent for this. So she she saw it and she got it for me. And basically, I started learning more. Started learning about the camera. Started learning about ISO, aperture, all that good stuff. You know, and 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 how everything works about film. Throughout the process, um, I ended up meeting people um, that gave me the opportunity to learn more. A group of people, a, a, a guy named um, Chris Hanna. He's really well known. He was a good friend of mine. We had our differences, still respect the guy. Um, we had some differences. I had to leave that team, but you know, we still respect him for what he does. He does an amazing job in everything he does, but he did give me the opportunity to travel. He gave me opportunity to meet new people, learn new things, be on set, small sets for short films, go to a film school in Santa Fe, New Mexico, which is oh, awesome. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, some experiences there. I didn't go to the school, but I ended up meeting people there, meeting uh, professors that he made me meet and uh, different actors from New Mexico as well. Not well known, but big actors. So it was awesome experience. I have memories of that. I have photos of, of some of the things that I did. I have some B-roll still saved in my hard drives of, of, of the, the things that I would go through, through those events and those short films, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, just basically kind of moved forward and eventually, you know, ended up saving up for a bigger camera, uh, a camera that I have now and I've hold dearly for a while, um, which hopefully planning for a new upgrade, but it's a Sony. It's a Sony A8. Uh, 
A7R3. Mm. Um, and yeah, I honestly love it. I've loved the Sony brand for a while after I left Canon. Uh, Sony was another interest because it had a low light sensor to it for night shots and night shots are usually kind of hard to get when you want to get that crisp and not get a All right. grainy yeah. footage you know you know what i'm talking about that grainy footage so yeah. it, it was it was a nice switch and i ended up liking it compared to canon and 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 uh nikon stuff like that great cameras as well it's just preference but my preference would be the sony cameras and i ended yeah. up loving them so yeah, um but with that said, I mean, honestly, uh, that's basically the origin story. It, it happened. I picked up the love for film because of a breakup. And I think it's amazing because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have done this and I wouldn't have done what I do now, you know, which is my photography, my videos. And I would have met you, obviously, you know, that wouldn't have happened. And, you know, luckily I did. Wait. Did I lose you? Uh, you're gonna froze up a bit. Did I lose you? Okay, there you I go. think I got I'm you back. back. Okay, cool, awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, and, and I wouldn't have met you, you know, um, if it wasn't for that, you know, all this wouldn't happen, and stuff that happened to now, where we are now, it wouldn't. The films that we've made together, the the stuff that we have done, and I don't think it would have happened. So, I do pre from something that was bad there was a big silver lining to it and I ended up having a love for film. So nice. yeah, honestly, that's, that's the story right there. Very good story. So from something that <clears throat> she break, breaking your heart led you to your passion, to your, the, yeah. I guess you're where you needed to go, you know, I mean, in your life and doing photography, film. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So certain people come into your life to show you a reason or something that yeah. you need to know. And sometimes they're only there for a season. Sadly. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah exactly. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Yeah. But, you know, honestly, and, and it's crazy. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, it is appropriate to say this, but I don't know if it's a bad thing to say this, but it's crazy enough. I ended up at some point after the years of us breaking up, we saw some, somehow we got contact again. And I was able to actually thank her for for her breaking up with me in person and getting a crazy reaction not a mean reaction but it was like more of a like surprise reaction out of her but i did thank her to um letting me to le having this love of film and stuff like that and and mm. she supports me throughout the, from this time on i mean she's she's doing her own thing now but you know um she still supports me which i'm appreciated and stuff like that and yeah so because Good. of her, you know, I, I got to thank her in person for it. So nice. Yeah. That's cool, man. I'm glad you thanked her for it, you know, even if she was kind of like, uh yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was weird, but at the same time I had to do it. So nice, man. All right. Now we're gonna get into Angels and Airwaves. Angels and Airwaves, man. Oh well. That 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 had to start with trying to make a long story short here. Um, and obviously start with Blink, as you know, if anybody else here is a Angels and Airways fan, it's obviously the front man and guitar and singer from Blink-182, Tom DeLonge. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, that I've listened to Blink-182 since pretty much all my life, since I was a kid. Um, my cousin got me into Blink-182. That's a different story, obviously, I'm not going to get into that, but just kind of, you know, put the pieces together here. So throughout my life, I've listened to Blink, and obviously, uh, out of every Blink fan out there, they broke up, right? Blink-182 broke up, and I really loved, I mean, every, 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 every Blink song, but obviously, most of the time, either Tom, Mark would write the songs, depending on, you know, who it was, but I usually love how Tom write, would write his songs, so... They broke up, and I honestly kind of stopped listening to Blink. I didn't know Angels and Aries was a thing. The I was at a friend's house, I remember. And they I think they still had MTV, or I don't know. There was a, I think it was MTV that were showing still music videos at a certain time. And, and I know nowadays they don't really do it. I don't know if they still do it at, late at night. But um, it was around the time where they were, like, kind of showing music videos at some, some point, and then they would show reality shows and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So... It, I was at a friend's house and I heard 
and I saw the song The Adventure. Oh, that, wow. was a very, that was the very first music video and very first song I saw from Angels and Airways. Oh, wow, The Adventure. Yeah, huh? The Adventure. And that's why it's one of my favorite songs to this day. From because all the songs. You, because when you first heard it, it took you on an adventure or what? Yeah. I mean, it, it was not just that. It was like, I was like, what? That guy looks, because I didn't know who it was. Like, uh, I heard the voice. And I'm like, that voice sounds familiar. And I looked at the guy. The guy did not look like the guy from Blink-182. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's Tom? What the hell? But then I sat down. And I started listening to the music. It sounded like space rock, alternative. Uh, I can't really describe it. But I was like, yo, this sounds cool. It had Blink-182 aspects. It had like space rock aspects. Uh, or like another good one, uh, Depeche Mode. You know, you know oh, that. Yeah, yeah. It had some kind of vibe like that also. And I was like, this sounds cool. And I'm, I told my friend, who is this? You know, I didn't know the name. I knew who it was, but mm-hmm. I didn't know the name of the band because I didn't catch the beginning of the video. Mm-hmm. And um, he's like, no, I don't know. And so I waited. And then towards the end, luckily enough, they had the, the song name. And I was like, oh, it's Angels and Airwaves. Cool. So after that, what did I do? I went back home, got on YouTube, started looking, and the We Don't Need, we don't need, we don't need a Whisper album, that's where the song was from. Okay. Started listening to the album, dude. And at the time, I was going through some other uh, other breakups, obviously, and I was kind of feeling sad. And yeah, I was doing my videos and stuff here and there. But listening to the music, listening to the album just sparked something. Because the album, if I know you listen to it, it's kind of like, not saying depressing, but it's more like a hopeful, a hopeful, like you got, you got this kind of thing. You know, mm-hmm. it's like a, a you're, you're coming from a dark place and this, this music that you listen to, it's making you feel hopeful for something good, you know? Yeah. So Angels, that's kind of how it started. And throughout the time, just the albums came out and started loving his songwriting. I used a lot of his music and I get inspired from his music to do videos that I do now. And I've obviously me and you have done some. Especially okay. Letters to God, which was yeah. another one that I really loved. Obviously, it impacted you a lot and impacted me in some way. And you for, you know, um, your mom, obviously. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it was a special project uh, for you and me. And for me, it was a different, obviously a different thing. But I was, also ha- I was also happy that you can resonate or, you know, appreciate what the song meant in yeah. your end. You know? I agree. So, so it was awesome. And yeah, uh, honestly, that, that was the way I found about Angels and Airwaves and, you know, how it inspires me to do a lot. And, and it just it's just helped me through a lot of stuff, a lot of dark times. So yeah. that's that's why I love Angels and Airwaves. So I even got a tattoo. I can't really show it right now, but I got a tattoo. And that's I got right. You do have a tattoo. Yeah. yeah. And it so, looks like this with this on his wrist. Yeah. Yeah. On, my, on my wrist. And then I have the, the space guy. Yeah. and the moon for the love album on my shoulder so yeah they're, they're always gonna be a big part of my life so yeah, yeah. and one cool thing is that um angel you know it's interesting how he became a fan of angels and airwaves and his name, and was my name is angel <laughs> of course like, you would bring that up. it's like meant to be <laughs> yeah and, and then and him and i went to go see angels and airwaves in phoenix yeah. when in it was in september of 2019 <laughs> it was extremely hot and that's where that shirt's from too that that yeah. tour right yeah yeah yeah. Tour, yeah yeah exactly you and, waited and, for like what two hours outside in the heat yeah before and it got in and then yeah. left we were just drained man <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah and then that's where we met one of your other uh oh yeah we uh, met guests. Luis and Luis. his uh his wife his girlfriend at the time yeah well yeah it was now his wife time. but yeah, yeah. and yeah, i thought cool. <laughs> yeah, and it, yeah, and it was all, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Like, we were talking because we they're in front of our in front of us in line. We we're waiting yeah. out there in the heat for a long time. It was worth it though because we got front seats, basically, right? Kind of, we're in like a front right, of the stage, yeah. so it was worth it. It was worth the wait in the sun. Um, Isn't but, it? Yeah. Me how how meeting Luis there. Mm-hmm. I didn't know him, but you knew him. But then to come to find out in two and a half years later, I was gonna work with him yeah and then be like hey weren't you at that yeah angel and airways concert <laughs> yeah I'm like weren't you my i'm angel weren't you friends with angel he's like yeah and i'm like oh snap and then yeah, from we're there, there. Yeah. i was part of long life 16 oh yeah, exactly man. and you see what i mean it's like it's like it's a, a circle it's just like it's a circle dude it's like it's a small world it's a small world too. it's like it's just interesting how yeah. so 
Exactly, dude. And it's a small world, dude. I mean, come it on. Is, we meet man. each other in, in the concert in Phoenix, and we're from El Paso. Yeah. So that's like my right, right. But and then we went to go see um, Blink-182 last year, right? In June? Yeah, and last year Phoenix, in Phoenix. the same thing, yeah. Yeah, and they're still touring right now. They're, I think they're actually yeah, they're still, back. Yeah, they still they're, are. They're still touring. They're, they're going to they're gonna do another round here as well, I, I saw. But I don't think they're going to hit Phoenix. I think they're going to hit, like, other places. But I don't I think I going to do another I know round. they're going to Las Vegas July 3rd. Las Vegas? Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. So I think that's awesome. So, oh, you know what? Um, I don't know if you saw this, but I think, I think, rumor, or I saw him post. I'm not sure if it's real. Angels and Airways, I think they might be working on some music. Oh really? Not sure. I think they're still doing stuff. I think. Not oh. sure. I was I was thinking about that today. It was like I wonder when they're gonna bring out a new single. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, honestly, I feel like whenever Blink is done with the tour, because they just I think they just picked up the tour now. I saw they're barely gonna start again. They're going to Mexico, I think, because they did some postponed because something happened. But they're going back over there gonna tour again. So I think after Tom is free, either that or I don't know what they're planning to do. All right. Um, they're gonna continue that. So. We'll see what happens in due time. So, yeah. well, one thing I'm really appreciative is Angel's friendship, but also just how much she's helped me with some side projects that we did and and all that. So he's such a such a good friend, and I really appreciate his friendship after like four or five years we've been friends. And but yeah, man, I I really appreciate the the projects we did. It was fun. There was some projects that were really heartfelt. But we had a good time, you know. There was it was a good years of just doing yeah. our love of passion of filmmaking and little short projects, you know. Yeah, dude, it was awesome, and we have our ups and downs and stuff like that with it too. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it. Um, uh, I'm just I'm just stupid. That's all it is, man. But I I I I am I'm weird with things. But at the same time, you know, I did appreciate every moment, regardless, even though whatever mood I was in. I did appreciate everything. I every, everything that I do, I always appreciate. No matter if I don't see, if it doesn't look like it at the time, but at the end of the day, I always appreciate those moments and learning experiences. So, um, but yeah, that that's I think um, I had lots of fun doing the last one. I don't think he told me did, did Serene like it, the video that we made. Oh, she loved it, dude. Yeah, she, awesome. All yeah. her friends loved it, and her family. They're like, oh my god, such a. They even had tears and all that. And it, was, yeah, it was such a great video. That's yeah. awesome, dude. I'm happy. I'm that happy was, to hear she's that. She's all like, oh, tell Angel. I said, thank you so much. You guys did a great job. And it's like, man, it's the Picasso right here, man. He, he knows his work. <laughs> the scenes. Yeah. Like, I mean. Remember, I it took it, us yeah. a little bit to figure out the story. We were trying to figure out what. Oh, yeah. We had a we had a cooler one. We even did. This was great. I, yeah, we I still think that was a good idea. But but it was going to be impossible. It was a lot of stuff it that we had lot. to do. Yeah. But but it, it was good, man. I mean, it was it was good planning. And I think at the end of the day, you came up with a good plan at the end. And I think it was great. And it worked out. I mean, big yeah, payoff yeah. right there. So, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. So tell me where are you at now with your projects. I know you're doing some anime uh, yeah pension and stuff so what's going on with all that so i made a, obviously i made an awesome group of people um that i'm working with right now oh, nice. and they're part of the convention i'm obviously if you can see in the back i do love anime i'm also from anime uh you know love watching anime and that's one of my things so when there's cons here in in the city um i go to them you know, because I want to meet new people. I like seeing people's cosplays. I like the, the events they have, the shows, stuff like that. Because um, it's not just a convention. You go to have fun, meet people, watch people's, you know, stuff like uh, do little games. Because conventions, we usually do like little games and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, like there's one that they did like a family feud, but about an anime. So you had oh, to really? know your anime to do like family feud. Yeah. So it was cool. And, you know, kind of wanted to get into that, you know, aside from doing regular photography, like portraits, stuff like that. I wanted to do something like, you know, something that I love. I was obviously anime, but I also love filmmaking. Let's put those together, mash them uh, up. Yeah. Awesome. You know, so yeah. not saying that I'm leaving the other stuff that I do now, uh, which is something I still like to do, like portraits, you know, uh, promotional videos, uh, gender reveals, stuff like that. You know, whatever I get the opportunity to do, I'll do it. But meeting these people are giving me opportunity. Uh, one of the guys um, that I met, not met but i saw him at a con he was dressed dressed as jesus oh i've um, been seeing some of your posts on that yeah 
not Jesus. Okay, don't get it wrong because oh, okay. people, it's not Jesus Christ. Oh, okay? okay. Because he does not have the crown, uh, the the little thorns. Mm -hmm. He's not. He's not trying to be, be Jesus Christ, but okay. he looks like Jesus Christ. So, thing is, you know, not want to offend anybody. You know, whoever's religion, and it's not like that. I'm not the one that made it, but there is like an anime that somebody did. I don't know in Japan or whatever that has a guy named Jesus and looks like Jesus Christ, but it's not Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. So that somebody did an anime of Jesus. Yeah. You know, like I said, it's not Jesus Christ. So not offend anybody, but that's who he's cosplaying. As. If you oh. know it, you'll know it, but people obviously see it as Jesus Christ, but he's not Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but he's a cool dude. I, met, I, I saw him at the convention and I ended up following him on Instagram. And at some point he was looking for an editor uh and i i basically messaged hey this is my opportunity to meet somebody from the cosplay community yeah. and meet other people you know so i messaged him say hey i'm interested oh uh, and basically after he saw my message he's like okay i need this kind of gave me a rundown had a after that had a meeting told him what I'm, he, he he told me like hey this is what i'm looking for uh, i want to do vlog style videos for cons stuff like that so like, you know what i'm all for it dude and he asked me what are you really looking in return i just want meet new people get exposure get in my foot in the door and all this and he's like awesome i can i can help you with that so nice. we become we become good friends and throughout the whole thing <clears throat> i met other awesome people that i've been talking to and and having a good time and, and hanging out having meetings about these things so it's like it's a good team from the cosplay community it's a different feel and just talking to some of the people that love anime like i do is just a awesome experience that's, you know yeah. and conventions are coming up we just had one called anime fest it happened at bassett um and that one was on uh, that one was awesome it was a free event for people to go um and i was we were there to test the waters for the very first time to do the vlog together with my equipment and it came out really good tonight right now as we speak is the the uh, the uh, vlog is premiering oh it is uh, it yeah. is right now yeah um it yes. is right now on his youtube which is okay. crown of silk um i'm the one that edited it and filmed it for him oh nice okay. and yeah so but i finished editing on sun sunday night and i ended up finishing other stuff that you probably saw a little reel of cosplayers that i did uh that i just finished posting but his vlog is going to be posted on his youtube <clears throat> and um that's cool yeah it basically premiered tonight so that's whoever cool. you know is 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 interested in that kind of stuff how the con was you were, you didn't go to the con you want to see we kind of have a little bit of snippets of what happened mm -hmm. and a little bit of the vlog of him how he experiences the cons and right now we're we're getting ready for the next one which is going to be at the convention center in i think about two weeks i okay. think and there's gonna be another con it's gonna be called i think it's an el paso anime oh nice yeah el paso anime fest i think i don't remember the name um anime el paso that's what it's called okay. it's the same people that it's the same people that host comic con here in the convention center and that one we're planning we're getting ready for it we're discussing for the next stuff we're gonna do we're gonna do a vlog again and oh, nice. we're planning on doing that and i'm planning on working with other awesome people working from people from san antonio as well they're oh, all right cool, yeah, cool. so i'm gonna you know collabing with awesome people there that i got the opportunity that i'm grateful grateful for and you know dude i'm excited and oh, um, i'm excited for you man yeah and that's the next con there and then after that in october we have another call another another con that we're going to be, pre be preparing for as well so around year-round cons man and me i'm just trying to get i'm just gonna try to get cosplayers to work with try to get my name out there and you know try to become a costume photographer because it's something that i always was interested in and you know obviously i like anime like i said earlier put those together yeah, it, no, out. I'm, you know, yeah, it works out. So, yeah, dude, that's that's I got I got in a great opportunity on that. So, and I'm I'm taking the chance on it, and it's working out good. I'm pretty happy and stoked for it. So, that's good, man. Well, before we end the podcast, how can uh, the viewers find you on your Instagram, Facebook? Um, you know, just to find all that, because I mean, you do extremely great job on your on your filmmaking, your photography. Yeah, so, if you guys ever need some. Uh, film work or photography on certain things uh, feel free to hit up my boy angel rodriguez so yep 
And with that said, you know, you can hit me up at my main page, which is uh, Rad Rod Films or Rad Rod under, underscore films at, on Instagram. You want to find my YouTube, it's going to be the same thing. Yeah, Rad Rod Films. Um, and TikTok, I believe it's on the Rad Rod as well. If you want it, you have a TikTok. Um, Snapchat, Snapchat, don't really use for that, honestly. But those are the places you can find me. And if you do find me through there, I should have a link tree to my other stuff, um, to my TikTok and all that, my YouTube and all that stuff. And my cosplay one, if you are a cosplayer watching this in El Paso, hit me up. I have my own separate page for that as well. And that's going to be rad underscore cosplay underscore media. So hit me up in those places or, you know, if you see me around, give me a word. Yeah, man. I've seen your work with the cosplay already, and it's already good. So, yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, this is the start. Hey, it's the start. Doing. It's the start, and everybody's loving it, bro. And you know, I've just been adding more cosplayers on my list, and hopefully, one of these people I reach out to them, they reach out to me, and they want to work. And I'm actually gonna start learning a lot of do uh, do a lot of Photoshop for the cosplay specifically for photos. Oh, so cool. I can add special effects here and there for their photos to make them look more fantasy like to kind yeah. of. Um, uh compliment their cosplays you know what yeah. i mean yeah. so that's something i'm also going to be working and learning from youtube university because you can't go wrong with youtube university yeah you cannot <laughs> but Just everything on but yeah, that man. youtube yeah but okay. uh yeah dude but i do appreciate you uh having me here and everything so it means a lot dude yeah man and you know and that's the thing about us is we love angels and airways we love the film mm -hmm. we love the, the photography then we also love back to the future oh yes Yes, somebody. Right. This is, somebody. Before we end this, here's a funny joke we're gonna say. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Uh, go over. What joke right. are we so talking? We're, about? we're doing a project right with uh, <laughs> of ours, Victoria, and and so they're they're doing the photo shoot. Her and Angel are doing a photo shoot, and we're at uh, Escada de Park, and then, uh, and I'm kind of just doing my own thing on the side, and but then they say, okay, we're gonna go in the back seat and do some shoots that they were doing as well. I'm like, okay. So they went in the back seat, <laughs> and after like probably like five minutes as they were in the back seat, I, I go up there and I open the door. I'm like, "Hey, you, you take your damn hands off her." <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched Back to Future? You understand that reference, but yeah, yeah it, future, you know where that's from. <laughs> yeah, dude, that 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 was. Oh, uh, awesome. you cracked up, man! You cracked up like like man. Yeah, dude, I was not expecting you that. You weren't dude. expecting that. Yeah, <laughs> it was awesome, dude. And, and yeah, your face when I said. Hey you. <laughs> hey you take your damn hands off her <laughs> yeah dude i mean honestly dude that's like one of the like i, I was i mean all, of the, all the other references we do for back to future i think that's the funniest one because we do a lot we do like you bastards I or know. Yeah, oh, you know, bastards yeah and all those other the ones we do but yeah, yeah there was it was funny. It was funny because like before we go, it's long, uh, quick story. I wasn't alive. Uh, the guy that I'm working with the cosplay, he does he does a lot of lives a lot, and I joined him, so we can talk to you know the people and stuff like that. And and somebody came up, and I was on the I was watching the live, and I was in the chat, and somebody mentioned, "What was the year?" That if you guys he asked he first asked if you guys seen Back to the Future and then they're they're kind of on the young side a little bit mm -hmm. so they're like yeah yeah they said no or whatever and I'm like oh shit okay where was he where's he going with this and then he's like can you tell me the year that Marty McFly goes back to and right away psh, 1955 <laughs> I already knew yeah. I already knew and he's like nobody none none, none, none nobody in their no chat said it, anything huh? wow. and then I'm like, and then he looked at me like oh that there you go Angel got it because he knows who I am right so Angel got it 1955. And like the only reason I'm saying it is because I'm watching the movie right now. I was like, "Oh, that's awesome!" And I told him it's one of my freaking favorite movies. Oh, dude. But yeah. yeah, I'm I'm gonna remember the date, you know. So yeah, yeah. awesome, yeah. awesome, dude. Well, I have a little something to share and show you. This is my little cosplay, but this is for the new Star Wars. What's it called? The new oh, one. Oh, the Acrylite. Ac yeah, Acrylite. 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 Yeah. Yo, the saber. I got my saber back there. Bro, this is, I, I, this is probably like, 
<laughs> the best investment I've gone in in this, bro. But freaking amazing, dude. And I appreciate you getting it for me, even though I wasn't. I'm I'm sure every Star Wars fan out here is probably disappointed because I get I didn't get go to the experience. But beautiful, dude. I know. But I did. I do have all. Uh, I do have a lot of colors now, dude. Yeah, you have I all have, the colors. Oh man, I have them back here, dude. Like I have. And then when like Fernie went, he got me the other colors. But I have, I have the yellow color. Oh, nice! I don't know if you can see, see that. Oh, yeah. I have the yellow one, the purple one now. Oh heck yeah! The green one, the one you have. So I do have yeah. green. The blue one. Oh wow! Obviously, yeah, yeah, and then the white one, and the oh. obviously the red one that's in the saber right now. Yeah. Right. But yes. That's, like I said, a good things again for getting it for me and getting the stuff for me when, when you went. But I will have a time and I, I am planning to hopefully go back and do the experience. And Fernie was telling me that you have an experience where they close the park, right? Yeah, yeah, you do. For Star Wars. Yeah. And he, he didn't know that. And he's like, we should go. I'm like, oh, I, I can see if I can save up money for it. But I would love to go and try to do it again and actually yeah, experience dude. it this time. It you know, really hopefully. Experience, but yeah. We'll see because I never have money for it. So <laughs> we'll see. But all right, well, guys, you know, well, we're yeah. almost running out. It's going to cut off on us. But thank you, Angel, for coming on Rhythm and Rose podcast, being my guest. Yeah. Thank you for and, having uh, me. We'll Appreciate catch it. you guys on the next episode. May the force be with you. Yeah, guys. May the force be with you. <laughs>